Hello, today's lesson is going to be on measuring with uncertainty from analog devices. <clears throat> analog devices are any device that usually has tick marks instead of a screen. Okay, so with this, we're going to be using graduated cylinders as our example, and we're going to be using three different kinds of graduated cylinders. All right, this first one, the interval is what is each tick mark worth? What are we counting by? For this graduated cylinder, the interval is 100. For this, it's 10. For this one, it's one. <clears throat> now, once we know what the interval is, we're always gonna estimate a measurement one place smaller than what our interval is. So if we're counting by 100s, we're going to be uncertain in the tens place. If we're counting by tens, we're going to be uncertain in the ones place. If we're counting by ones, we're going to be uncertain to the tenths place. Okay. Once you have this information, then it becomes really easy to start reading your measurement, right? Usually liquids are going to have this curve called a meniscus and you're always going to measure from the bottom of this curve. So for this, let's ask ourselves, what is this measurement at least? No estimation, no guessing. Well, it's above the 200 line, but it's below the 300 line. So we're going to say it's at least 200. Now we're sure of that 200 and we're going to start estimating in the tenths place. So to me, let's kind of draw a line across here. This looks like it's maybe a little bit less than halfway to the 300. So I'm going to say 230. <clears throat> and then this plus or minus tells us which place in this 230 was an estimate. This is tens, so the tenths place was an estimate. Let's take a look at this one. This is at least 10. It's above the 10 line, but below the 20 line. It's at least 10. And now we gotta kind of estimate. We gotta look, what, where do we think it is? To me, it looks like it's about halfway between 10 and 20. So it's 15 plus or minus one. <clears throat> maybe it's actually 14, maybe it's actually 16. That's the point with uncertainty. There's going to be some estimation involved. For this last one here, this is counting by ones. This line is clearly above the second tick mark, but below the third. So it's at least two. We're sure about the two. Okay. And now we need to start estimating one place smaller than this two. So in the tenths, let's draw a line across and see if we can see something here. This also looks to be about halfway between three and two. So I'm going to say it's 2.5, but I'm not really sure about that 0.5. I'm only sure about the two. So in my uncertainty, I'm going to indicate that I'm uncertain about that 0.5 by telling you, eh, it could be between 2.4 and 2.6. That's my estimation. 